Hello everybody, I'm back here again for another vlog a day. And today is Sunday the 26th, I think it is, something like that. And I'm on my way back from Washington DC, out with my buddy running the Marine Corps Marathon. And we stopped in a town, I think it's called Zanesville maybe, Ohio. We usually stay like two, two and a half hours east of here. And I was trying to convince my buddy to let me go ahead and drive farther tonight after the race today. And Normally he wants to stop right away and makes the Monday drive just miserable. Last, this is the fourth year now. The last three years, it's just been just disgusting how long that Monday drive is. I get to his place, I still have an hour drive home from there. But this year I'm gonna have a two hour drive up to pick up my dog and then a two hour drive from there back home. So whatever I drive tomorrow from here out, I've gotta add four hours onto that, not counting the time at the people's house picking my dog up. So. In order to make tomorrow a much better day, I don't sleep early anyway. I cannot get to sleep early. So convinced you to let me drive a few more hours tonight. I think we drove probably, I don't know, maybe two, three hours farther. So it's going to give me two or three hours less I got to drive tomorrow, which will definitely be a godsend in the long run. So today we got up ungodly early. I think like 3.30, 3.45, something like that. We got up, got around, left the hotel room, headed down to the metro, jumped the metro, headed over to the start of the race, wait around there for a couple hours for the race to get started. My buddies always want to be crazy ass early. It was surprisingly a lot colder than I thought it was going to be. Um, got the race finally went off without, without really a hitch. My buddy has been injured for quite some time now, so he didn't know how his run was going to go. The Marine Corps Marathon app did not update the first time, so we were over waiting for him to cross the 10K mark. We were about the 10 mile mark. So when it went off, we was going to have plenty of time to look for him and stuff and find him that when he gets in there and unfortunately they didn't ever update us at all so we're sitting around the 10k mark and got an app update said he made it to the 13 mile mark so we'd missed him by three miles somehow in there headed up found him about 16 found him about 17 and a half ran over found him at just before 20 and then he was really out of it he was like really not like even speaking to us and i kind of yelled at him like dude you gotta talk to me man i'm like something right i could see in his eyes he was just kind of looping he's looked at me and stuff and he's like dude i'm all right i'm all right and i was like okay man but you need to get something food in you and him a tailwind which is a um supplement food you drink put in your water and he took off and we headed to the finish to meet him up there we actually headed about the 26 mile mark where we meet him a little bit about 25 and a half to be exact and waiting for him there and he was running way out behind there it was crazy late turned out he fell somewhere shortly after seeing us like face planted, hit his hip, hit the ground, busted a goo in his pocket, spilled all his water in that. Luckily, I just handed him a brand new um, Tailwind supplement, so he was able to refill that, which saved his butt. Got that in there, they got some sugar in him, got some candy bars in him, some gummy bears, I think, also. And he was able to finish, um, finish pretty decent. He, didn't, he did not have a PR, but with the injuries and stuff and the lack of training coming into this, we didn't expect him to. And that fall definitely threw him off. I think he was unconscious, is the way it sounded. He actually lost consciousness. So he was talking about trying to drive some night like there ain't no way in hell you're driving. You lost consciousness. I'm not trusting my life to you. So went ahead and drove the rest of the way through. We got out, got finished tent, all that good stuff. Headed out here, like I said. We're now, I think it's called Zanesville. So I went for my run tonight, ran a couple miles, nothing major, just cold out here. Um, got my jacket on, got my gloves on, trying to stay warm. And this is the most rude, obnoxious damn people I've ever met. I only saw probably nine cars the whole run, and I'm running the road like I always do facing traffic sidewalks where I can and I had four of the nine cars honk at me and two of them swerved at me like they were trying to swerve to chase me like off the road and I've never seen a larger group of assholes in my life the way it was for runners so I cut my run a lot shorter I was gonna actually try and run I was gonna try and run five maybe six miles tonight I haven't run long in a long long time so I wanted to kind of go out for a decent little run kind of shake down kind of clear my mind putting up with this um, kid all day was a little taxing you're not used to having a kid around and take care of that really kind of just bite it bit a little bit so i wanted to clear my mind out but i wasn't willing to risk my life and get ran over by some asshole out here so i'm gonna go up hit the shower and probably go jump in the jacuzzi first um, hotel i've had that's gonna have a open pool or jacuzzi so i'm gonna definitely use that i'm gonna try and get my buddy come down also soak his body in that jacuzzi it helped really help his muscles quite a bit so that's all i got for now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day thanks for watching